five one emotional projector and today i'm going to be making another video specifically for my projector people but of course if you are not a projector if you love a projector if you're interested in understanding more about projectors if you're working with a client that's a projector kids whatever whatever it might be um, you can definitely take something from this video and learn more about what it's like from the reality of a projector so one of the things that have inspired me lately is that I can see projectors kind of, including me, like kind of coming out of this box of like feeling as if the invitations have to be this specific, you know, envelope in the mail and every time you speak, you have to be invited type of situation that I think sometimes human design is taught that way. Um, and at the beginning, when you first start human design, it is kind of nice to be able to take a step back and not feel like you have to talk so much and kind of see things from a different perspective. However, for a long time, I saw projectors be very afraid to speak up, or I still see projectors have fear about like doing anything for their business or feeling like they're not going to get seen on social media or feeling like they can't message people and blah 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 because it would be a not self theme because they're not invited and that is so not true um you are so much more than a strategy and an authority your frequency, the vibration, the aura that you have, every aspect of who you are, both in your soul, your body, your mind, your aura, every part of you is going to be a little different than every other person on this planet. So to say that your strategy and your authority or your strategy as a projector to wait for a recognition and wait for that invitation is not enough to describe your everyday life right and it's really for those big things and even in those big things which i'll get to in a minute there is kind of this ability to take to take like all the information and the lessons you've learned and take all this parts of yourself that have completed and made you feel whole and sure of who you are and use that sureness in yourself to navigate yourself through the world. You get to a point as a projector where you can kind of like vibe if someone is giving you that invitation to speak or you can feel like this is the correct time to say something or message. So it's like you can almost feel it before it happens, you know? And when you're able to tap into that, it's like you can kind of let go of the idea of like, I need invitations for everything because you don't, you absolutely do not. And I want to make it incredibly clear again here that you do not need an invitation to start a YouTube channel. I started this, no one told me to. <laughs> Um, you do not need an invitation to post on social media, to message someone, to ask someone a question, to learn more about something, to reach out to a friend that you want to see or that you want to start a friendship with. I'm sorry, but like, even though you could consider being friends with certain people a big invitation or like a big thing, if you have similar interests and you are in person, then of course you can ask people to talk more or you can reach out to them. It's not like you're asking them to be your friend on the first message. You're just saying, hey, whatever it is that you find interesting about them that you also find interesting. Like, I, I, I just, oh, it drives me crazy a little bit thinking about how like so firm some of the way we talk about projectors is like, because when you're actually a projector, you start to realize that like it almost conditions you again to believe that you can't speak up or that you can't just be your own person. And like then once you've learned human design even more, you kind of like do exactly what human design was here to do, which is to experiment it and then take it as your own and embody it to the world, right? Like 
when I first learned about human design, I wanted to learn from different perspectives because I knew it was important. I knew there were certain things that I wasn't really going to fully grasp until I saw it from different perspectives because then I could have a clear outside perspective view of how different they all looked, like all the different definitions and all the different ways to view channels and charts and blah, blah, blah. Um, so that I could kind of come up with my own definition of all of them. And when I was able to do that, I could start coming into terms of what I felt like an invitation was. I also feel like the most helpful thing to, to really recognize in people is when they continue to give you recognition. Um, if anything, I find that more, more clarif more clarifying, I think that's the word, more clarifying, if not, whatever, um, than the actual invitation. Because even though we're projectors and we get that invitation, sometimes when we feel like we're not being recognized, it can feel like we kind of lost that invitation and they speak about losing an invitation in human design. But... <sighs> It's not even losing an invitation. It's just life. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes things don't work out. It doesn't mean that that projector in that generator projector relationship just lost the invitation. That's not what happens. Life happens. And so by understanding when you're getting that recognition again and again, or when you are being respected and treated the way you deserve and admired for the things that make you you that's when you know that that person wants to be in your life that's when you know it's the correct business decision when you constantly are reminded of the gifts that you're able to bring to the table